Zweiter Spieltag in der Easy Credit Basketball Bundesliga. Brose Bamberg unterliegt mit 82 zu 84 gegen die Hakro Merlins Kreisheim. Schönen guten Abend zur offiziellen Pressekonferenz. Zu meiner Rechten der Headcoach der Gäste Sebastian Gleim, zu meiner Linken der Cheftrainer von Brose Bamberg, Oren Amiel. Das erste Wort auch an diesem Dienstagabend. Das hat der Gästecoach. Herr Gleim, Glückwunsch zum Sieg. Ihr Statement zum Spiel, bitte. Wir freuen uns sehr über den schwer erkämpften Sieg hier in Bamberg. Ich denke, ausschlaggebend war das letzte Viertel, in dem wir wirklich sehr, sehr äh, tough gespielt haben und wichtige Plays gemacht haben, offensiv und defensiv. Ähm, zweiter ausschlaggebende Punkt war, dass wir neun Turnover hatten. Wir haben uns die Chance immer äh, erspielt, ähm, zu scoren. Ähm, da bin ich nicht, nicht ganz zufrieden. Wir haben immer noch zu häufig gezögert. Ähm, beim Werfen, beim, ähm, beim Penetration, beim Post. Ähm, war, aber aufgrund des ersten Spiels gegen Oldenburg denke ich auch ähm, ja, ähm, ein bisschen vorausschaubar. Deswegen umso wichtiger, wie, wie hart wir gespielt haben im letzten Viertel. Und ich denke, die 2 Minuten 44 von René Kinzeka äh, mit seiner Verteidigung, mit seinem Dreier hat uns noch mal so den letzten Glauben gegeben, das Spiel hier zu drehen. Danke, Coach. Warren, your statement about the game, please. Uh, first of all, congrats, uh, Coach Glenn. It's, uh, yeah, it's a good win, big win for, for Kreis. I'm, um, obviously, I, I'm frustrated. Um, I think when the game is on the line, the most important thing is to get shots and not to turn the ball over. And, you know, if you look on normal stats and you say, okay, only 13 turnover, it's something that we make reason, uh, reasonable for basketball game. But five of them in the last four, four seconds, four minutes, that's, that's just careless by us. And, um, you know, and I'm pissed, yeah. I'm really pissed because I thought we controlled the game most of the time and we have few chances to kill it. And every time we have this chance, To, to develop the momentum, we just throw the ball away. And we didn't get shots. So this is something we need to learn as a team, how to, how to handle these situations. Uh, but the credit for them for staying in the game and stay close and, uh, and make big shots and go to the right uh, players on the right time. And this is, this is credit for the, for, for the coach and for the team. And, uh, We are looking for the next one. I have nothing to complain, nothing to cry. We need to stay strong right now. It's just the beginning. Thanks, Coach. Fragen Ihrerseits an einen der beiden Trainer? In the end, it was only two points game. Yeah. You know, it was not like they, uh, we shoot a lot of threes, and I always prefer a shot than a turnover. And usually, you know, we are, we are a good shooting team. And uh, 32 in today's basketball, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. You know, everybody, most of the stats in today's basketball, it's the split, the twos and the threes. So I don't think this was the, this was the problem. I think when we, like I said before, you know, you have to get shots and, and not sell the ball like it's nothing. I mean, we sell it like it's, like it's one dollar ball instead of treat it like it's a million dollar ball. And, and the result is in front of us. The Frage war, ob es zu viele Dreier waren am Ende. I think it's a mix of everything. You know, it's uh, it's uh, for sure lack of concentrations. Maybe I don't want to. I don't want to make excuses. You know, I mean, a professional basketball uh, in the level we expect them to play, and also my expect for myself to coach. We need to help each other not to turn the ball over. It's everybody's responsibility. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. Blame nobody in personal. It's it's us as a team. Maybe I should check myself how we can I can help them in the in the in these moments. What kind of uh, plays to run? Uh, but everybody needs to take more responsibility in the, in the crucial moments. That's that's bottom line. Okay, dann. Danke schön, danke Coach, danke euch. Weiter geht's für Brose Bamberg Samstag 20:30 in Bonn. Bis dahin gute Zeit. Tschüss.